Karnataka is number one state because it is for everybody. It is, it is all inclusive, it is progressive. Uh, ten years back, when 30 crore applications since 2012, you can get more details about this on a call center number which is double four double five double four double five. Citizen gets compensated for every day's delay. A forum like my mind gives you that power of dissemination. A very good morning to all of you, dignities on the dais, and all my students and staff members. It's indeed my privilege to be in this August gathering in this beautiful complex, in this uh, group of enlightened souls who are here to make a destiny for themselves and for the country as a whole. I'm so happy to know about your own indigenous brand of my mic, making people come talk to you, inspire, and one day, one of you will also be on this side of the stage talking about your inspiring stories. I'm sure a big clap for you in advance. <laughs> Speaking in public is certainly an art. Sometimes we have done a lot, yet we choose not to speak. And sometimes, even without doing much, we can speak very well, thanks to our imagination. In our olden days, there was a proverb which says that the empty vessel makes a noise. But I think in the 21st century, with increasing pace of globalization, very big numbers in terms of population and competition, I think some noise is necessary. A hybrid model is probably the need of the hour. You should achieve something and then talk about it, because it will not only enhance your self-esteem, but it will certainly add to the success stories, add to the positivity in the planet that we all live in. I will share a short story uh, as my story. Maybe it will inspire many more to join the service, to join the uh, brigade of uh, you know, people who can make a difference, and I'm sure many of you will do that. Government, as you know, has hundreds of schemes for the people. But unless government speaks about those schemes, how would the needy, how would the people for whom it is designed get to know? Therefore, it is important that we make people aware about the government schemes. And I snatch every opportunity to make uh, the people aware about what government is doing, what people can take benefit out of the programs of the government, because it is for everybody. It is, it is all inclusive, it is progressive. One such scheme, as was mentioned in the uh, introduction, was the guarantee of services, public services to people. In Karnataka today, the flavor is of guarantees, right? And this is about uh, 10 years back when we brought in the Guarantee of Public Services Act, one of its kind in the entire uh, country and maybe even in the world. There is no match to this kind of uh, an innovation which has happened in Karnataka. Today, more than 1,000 services in different departments of the government are being availed by the citizens in a time-bound manner. 30 crore applications since 2012 have been disposed of in time for the citizens' benefit. And it was all possible with one technology platform which integrated not just the government departments on one side, but also the people on the other side. That means that all you have to do is you have to enter four important details of yours, your name, your mobile number, your address, and what service do you want from the department or the government. And automatically it selects the service which you require and it tells you what are the documents or what are the pre-qualifications that are required. And you have to upload those 
pre-qualifications pre or documents and you can uh, do it online, you can do it uh, through ground one centers, Bangalore one centers, etc. And then an SMS will come to your registered mobile number saying that you have been registered for this service application and you get a 15 digit computer generated code which gives you the identity number of your application and it also, the SMS will also tell you that you will get your service by such and such date. So if it is 7 days or 15 days or from now, it will give you that date on which you shall get your service. What if you don't get your service? Then where does the guarantee uh, uh, you know, come in? So if you don't get the service on that stipulated date, then uh, a message comes to you that for whatever reason, this has been delayed. However, you can get more details about this on a call center number which is double four double five double four double five. Easy to remember? Double four double five double four double five. From 9 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m. in the evening, you can call this number, check out about the services. Even if you have not applied, you can find out how to apply for it. And the beauty of this project was that automatically this call of yours, which again is not charged to you, becomes a complaint. It's like a petition in the court that you give for enforcing your right. So it becomes your appeal against the person who has not delivered the service to you. And then starts the clock of the superior authority to ensure that the service is given to you. Now, this being the case, why is it that lakhs of government servants who were earlier not bothered about whether they are giving the service to the citizen or not, are today bothered about this because it gets registered, thanks to IT, against their name as a default. Not only that, a citizen gets compensated for every day's delay. So we are counting on the efficiency of the officials in terms of every day's delay, if at all it is caused, and they get a compensation also into their bank account. These are different citizen-friendly measures which have been uh, introduced. However, what is important is that we, we in, in, enforce this, we monitor it, and we make more and more citizens aware and empowered about it. So this is where the power of information, education, and communication lies. And uh, a, a, a forum like my mic gives you that power of dissemination. I would conclude by saying that you and I are very lucky to be in premier institutions, to be part of higher education, getting all kinds of uh, technology, information, education, equip ourselves to lead our lives much more efficiently, much more effectively and prosperously. Yes, make the best use of your knowledge, your education, to make the best of your career. But after that point, do remember that all of us have a rina. Uh, 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 we have to give back to the society with one way or the other. It is your choice. You decide there are today entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, startups. They are coming back and saying, OK, let me make education system of uh, my country better. Let me make uh, uh, the production system of my farmers better and so on and so forth. So let's all see that today's empowerment through education is utilized by each one of us to improve the society as a whole. And let, my, let me end by saying that Karnataka is number one state with the higher uh, secondary students getting the maximum number of innovation awards under Aspire uh, competition organized by Department of Science and Technology. And I was speaking to your CEO and members of the team that why not our uh, R.N. Shetty Institute of Technology students take up these ideas, these innovative ideas, incubate them, make it into commercially viable uh, projects and see that not only your enterprise and project becomes successful, but it leads to the growth of the GDP of the country, the growth uh, of the country. And that's where the, the power of uh, 
knowledge lies in let's make use of each and every uh, opportunity that comes our way and i'll be very happy to see that uh, your um, technology innovations are making us uh, proud to be in the trillion dollar gdp group thank you and wish you all the very best <laughs>